It's me. It's me. It's Driver 53. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Farming with Trucks. I know it's been a while, but there's been some interesting updates that have happened lately, and I thought it would be cool to get back into this. Um, so what we've got is we've got our worker, the young kid down there. He's sowing the fields for us right now, and I'm taking our loading wagon with straw up here to the sale point. This is the bales center. And I'm just taking it up here because we need some money, y'all. We've only got $6,800 and some change. I gotta make some money. We gotta be able to get some new, some cool stuff. Oh! Can I do it? Can I do it? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and I honestly don't know how little we're gonna get off this, but whatever we get, it's definitely gonna help us. Looks like we're going, we're going, we're going. I mean we got a little bit more than I thought we would. Alright. 2119. That's not bad. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna keep having our workers sow all of our fields. Now I think I'm just going to do one type of harvest. Just one completely. And I want to see if we can pick up a contract. So let me get this thing parked back down here. We're going to throw it into the shed. Oh man, that hurt. We're going to throw it down here into the shed and see what we got. Looks like our guys something's happening. Maybe he's okay? Alright. He's alright. I was worried he was stuck for a minute. Alright, so we're going to take this down here. Now the interesting thing is with canola, we're not going to get any straw. None. So, I may do one of our fields in canola, and the rest of them in stuff that we're going to be able to get straw. I don't know, and the reason is because, I mean, the other stuff that gets straw, it's not a big price. You don't make a lot on it, on the grain. You see, you kind of make up for it in the sale of the straw, which we did. But, I don't know if I want to... Are they saying he's done? Hmm. Let's go check that out. I think he missed a strip. I don't know where he went. Yep, he did. Alright, we're going to have to get this real quick because we can't leave that there. Alright, so if y'all don't remember, we can't find any tractors. There are none in Ravenport any longer. Everyone's already grabbed them all up. So we're having to use trucks. And we've got the Scarrick here. Right? A nice one. And we've also got our TLX 2020. And we've got the TTHD. And we've got the old, I call it the farm truck. The one that we, uh, we can't do any trickery to the back of it. How about we say that? Alright, so there's that. Man, this hill is not friendly. Alright, so there's one. So should we do something besides canola? Hmm. You know, we could do all three of these in canola. And then do that one over there, something different. How about we do that? So, we're gonna do this one canola. Alright, so 
we're gonna hop out run over here he was just in the passenger seat so he just took back over real quick so what did I say we were gonna do oh that's right we we're gonna do a contract you know I want to check something else out really quick do we have any grains we do have some stuff that we could start selling okay so really quickly I want to get reminded we are on easy difficulty mode mode okay so awesome we're looking right here so it looks like our wheat is pretty good price um not so much barley oats that's a pretty good price 1910 canola 2315 is a really good price at the restaurant for that and that's 15,000 holy cow that would get us over 30,000 um, let's take some of that let's take canola really quick because we need money we need money bad so let's go grab the TLX because I got an idea I hope that isn't parked in the way and it might be so we have nothing in here right now open this thing up there we go alright so we said canola we're gonna take all of it Alright, and we said that this needed to go to the restaurant. Perfect. That's the direction I want to go anyway. Helper A is blocked by an object. Oh. Let's go help him out real quick. Get over. These young young kids just don't know how to drive and get out of situations anymore. There we go. Hi, right, man. Jeez. Alright, now let's take this to the restaurant. So what do you guys think of this series? What are some other things you'd like to see us do? I mean, we fertilized, we're planting now, we've done some cultivating. I don't think we've done any plowing yet. But now we're going to be delivering some grain again. I think we already did that once. But, we've got a new kind of toy that I want to... Uh, to grab up here it's really it, it's gonna make our truck stand apart a little bit oh slow it down slow it down I gotta remember you gotta take this thing slow all right so this is the restaurant all right so there we go how's it gonna open perfect back door so this is really gonna get us a lot of money like a lot so this is the good coast restaurant 35,000 that is a great payday absolutely great payday I'm glad we're doing canola I really am whoa holy cow all right so we are gonna take this back up here We're gonna park this right here. Now we're gonna go down. Right here. We're gonna drop that off. You guys will understand in a minute why. 
Because we're going to sell it. Yep, sure do. So what are we going to buy? What we are going to buy is the Trail Boss Edition. Oh, man. So, we want to get this... I'm thinking with this, but let's see what else we have. I like the cover. I think just this here. I don't think I need a toolbox. We got the other stuff. So, fenders, we want to go ahead and get some wide ones because I'll show you guys what we're doing here. Rear bumper is going to be hmm yeah main color. So design color oh, what did we go with? Ruby? Or, I think Scarlet wasn't it? And the main color we're going to hear gunmetal. Gunmetal Scarlet is, I think, what we have. We're going to go ahead and buy. Now, what we need to do is just back this up. Because we're going to customize it. Customize. So design color was scarlet, perfect. And the main color, ooh, dark moon. Let's go to gunmetal. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. Yeah, I like this color. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go. We're going to throw some bead locks on this thing because we're going to do something pretty cool. Now, instead of standard, that's right, we're going to throw some duels on here. Some duels with some big O gnarly stuff going on. So, we're going to go ahead and customize. Yep. So, now let's go look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to go pick up the trail boss bed, and you can see why I wanted to do the fenders on it. There we go. Look at that. That's just beautiful. All right, so we are back here. Got the trailer back. I mean, look at this beautiful truck y'all beautiful with the bead locks mm -hmm. all right so let's check out contracts all right so here we go we've got um, fertilizing fertilizing harvesting I don't really want to do harvesting yet um, because ooh, that's a big one but I don't I don't want to do harvesting yet. Baling looks cool. Mow the grass field then dry it and then bale it. I wonder can I use my equipment? Probably not unless it's a trail behind mower. So we're going to stay away from that one. Alright everybody so what we're going to do we are going to do this contract right here. Field 13 we're going to harvest it. It's oats and it's going to the ranch. So let's go ahead and accept it. Uh, we want to borrow their items, though, which is fine. I'm going to lose a little bit of money, but it's okay. So I'm going to run this up to the field and run back down and um, be ready to go. Man, my guy stopped again. All right, I got to go get him. I'm going to run my truck with the trailer over there, and uh, we'll be good. 
So I gave the uh, farmer a call and asked if he had a, uh, a hand that could you know drive the uh, harvester for me and get it set up. He said, yeah, yeah, he'll stay with it the whole day. He's like, that's part of the deal. He's like, you, you, you got to pay him, but you know he comes with it. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I got to pay him for your work. Okay, great. So we're heading up here. He's already, he just texted me and said, hey, uh, I got a full, a full hopper. I'm ready for you. So we're, uh, oh, there's my turn. We're bringing this one up here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fill up. Now, this thing is only 14.4. And we all know that this trailer is somewhere in the neighborhood. Uh, did I miss it? Oh, there we go. All right is in the neighborhood of like 45, 42, something like that. Man, almost right in the middle. I couldn't have done much better. It's a great job. Good color. Good color. Alright, so as soon as he's done, we're going to take this and uh, get it out of the way. And then we'll be off to the... Uh, Heading back down to the farm real quick. All right, so we're just gonna pull this up here out of the way. I'm gonna attach, get back down to the farm. We're doing some more work down there. We're finishing up all the fields. The kid, he just keeps having troubles. So I'm trying to help him as much as I can. Um, trying to build up a little bit of money here to uh, get some, some more, better something. I still don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we wanna get some money up. That way we can make a purchase. I'm thinking, I want a little bit bigger field because the three, four that I have right now, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I'd like to be able to expand out a little bit. Oh, 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 that was almost a tree. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know if I need animals right now or if I just want to strictly farm, you know, like, uh, crops. So, we'll see. Let's go up here and see how he's doing. Looks like he's doing all right. Did he stop? I don't know, y'all. Let me go find out. All right, y'all. So, I've had to come up here and take this thing over. He just continues to keep having problems. So, I'm going to be the one doing this. Um, it's a little bit tricky and I think what we need to do is trade in this thing a little bit smaller one I'm not super happy this is the only thing I could get though you know but I'm thinking take this thing after this field right here we're gonna go back we're gonna go trade it in we're gonna get something a little bit smaller I like how wide it is, but I just can't, I can't keep having this problem. So I need something a little bit smaller, a little bit narrower, a little bit easier to maneuver. I mean, you can see right here, it's like I'm giving it everything it's got. I got nothing. I mean, it's just, I think it's just a little bit too heavy for the amount of traction that I have. So definitely going to trade it, see what I can get used. Maybe brand new. I don't know. Might have got something in by now. But I'm definitely going to have to unload all the seed. I know that for a fact. And you guys can see I am spinning these wheels like crazy and it is going nowhere. Nowhere. Not, not satisfied with this thing. At all. Okay, one more little strip here, then we gotta go up and catch that little spot over there. And we'll be good to go. See, it's just. It's nothing. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Whew. Took me a little bit to get out of there. I still missed a little spot. 
What is this? Yeah, we gotta get rid of this thing. Gotta get rid of it. Not fun. So I'll come grab this spot right here real quick. Alright, so let's uh I'm gonna go and load this thing. You know, first I'm gonna hold it up. We're gonna go unload it, and then we're gonna take this up and trade it for something else. So I'll see you guys up there once I've got the new piece. Alright, so since I was up here, I got a notification that this guy was ready to unload again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to park this bad boy right here. I'm going to take off and go get this machine. Now, I got a little bit of money for the other one. Um, apparently the value in those things have con come back up quite a bit since, um, you know, because they're, they're hard to find, right? So when I traded it in, there was somebody instantly looking for it. So I got quite a bit of money. And then I bought this bad boy here. It's an Amazon. I'll show you what it is whenever we get close to hooking up to it. And I'm, it doesn't require a PTO, and it's not a three-point either. So that means, like, my TLX can run this one, or my farm truck can run, you, can run this one. So it's a Stara Ceres Master 3570. So we've got the seed down at the farm. We'll go ahead and get that loaded up. And this one should be a little bit easier um, to maneuver around. And we're going to find out. we got another field that's ready. As long as I don't break this thing, by the time we get it back, I think we'll be all right. Looks like I've been through and hit that pole too. So let me uh, get this thing back to the farm. We'll get it loaded up, and we'll get it over in the field and see how it does. All right, everybody. So we are so in, and with a little bit of back and forth and trying to figure out which one of my trucks is going to do this, the TLX 2020 comes through. And is the only one that has the proper hookups for this uh, cedar. So this guy's found a found a job. It's great. I love this vehicle. I really do. There's uh, I heard some some new vehicles are going to be listed to the catalog soon. From NMC, a Rampage, a Renegade, and a Raptor, I believe. And um, I heard the Scarec is going to be getting a model update also, which is amazing. Awesome. So, here we go. We are now planting with the TLX 2020 going to town, getting dirty, just like it was supposed to be. So let's see how well I can turn around down here. And we can't forget we still have the contract going on up there on top of the field or on top of the hill in field 13. So what we gotta do is we gotta run back up there with one of the other vehicles. And I'm thinking it's probably gonna be the Skerrick. That way I can get, you know, all the grain. It's a heavy load, so I need something with high horsepower. And the Skerrick I think is gonna be the one to do that. So I want to look at our fertilization here, and it looks like uh, fields 26 and 19 are going to need fertilized again once the crops start coming up. So we're good there for a while. we got to get up to field 13 and get that. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, go grab that, and I'll see you guys up there on the hill. Okay, so we have a full cart here of 32,400. I don't know why this thing was 45. I don't at all. But 32,4 is where we're at. And um, we're taking this to the ranch. So this is going to be a really interesting challenge to see if this thing can get all the way up the hill. Hopefully it can. 
And hopefully we don't come rolling back down. That'd be a bad day. So, if we are having troubles, what I'm going to have to do is, like, cut the amount in here per trip down a little bit. But I really don't think we will. I think this truck will be able to... Oh, wow. As long as I get some speed going here and don't get taken out by any more uh, oncoming traffic. That was mostly my fault, though. I'll take the blame on that one. Alright, so we're starting to go up. Once we get to this dirt section right here, it's going to get really steep. Hopefully we got enough steam. Let's see if we do. Alright, alright. I think we're still doing 31 mile an hour. That's pretty good. Alright, so real quick, I just want to check the map. Yep, we're, we're going. Alright, so here we go. So we're going to put about 10,000 in here. And then see how much of that contract we are. 24. Okay. 35. Forty nine, fifty five, sixty five percent. Wow, that's pretty good. One load, sixty five percent. So we only need ten percent more. So, I think I'm going to run this back over there. He's going to have another load ready for me. And I might just run it over here. Because if 30 some was 65%, I only need 10% more. Then I only need probably one load, if that, to get to my 75%. And then everything else is going to be just pure profit for me. And since this was over half, that means I'm going to get 25%, which means it'll fit in here. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up here, get this guy unloaded real quick, run back over there, get to 75. And then we'll uh, just let him keep pumping in here, and I'll take this home with me. Or sell it. I mean, what do we got? We got oats. Where are oats selling at right now? Uh, 1910 which isn't horrible and it's at the port grain elevator so it's a little bit of a drive so it's a good thing I've got a separate vehicle so so yeah I'm gonna let him finish up here and then we'll take that over there and then we'll come back over and park it and I'll show you guys so we got the contract um, sorted we've got all the grain in here I've delivered enough 76 percent a little bit over that they went ahead and uh, did it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the contract here really quick. We're going to complete it. We're going to get ten thousand dollars for that. Well, eighty-seven fifteen, eighty-five seventeen. So we're going to go ahead and collect. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and take this to the port grain elevator because it's going for a little bit over nineteen hundred dollars a thousand liters right now. So there's a little pretty good money here. There's maybe 25,000 sitting right here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. So, I gotta keep replacing all those signs. I, I'm horrible at knocking them over. And they know, they know who knocks them over. Oh wow, don't do it. All right, I hope there's no train coming. That would have been a very bad day. Why in the world are these guys going that way? I wonder what's down there though. If three cars are going down there in a row. Seems quite interesting. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to dump this in here. Real quickly. 
Yeah, we're getting up there in the money. I'm getting excited. I don't know what we're going to buy yet, though. Ooh, 27,000. That means we made... 35 almost on that contract? That's pretty good. I mean, by the time you hire the worker, maybe... 32, 33? I don't think that's too bad at all. So that's going to be the end of the episode today. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, give me a thumbs down. I can take it, y'all. I need to know if this is something y'all would like to keep seeing. I've only done one episode, didn't get very many views on it. So I'm doing this one to see if I can get it, generate a little bit more now that I have a few more subscribers. If you guys are interested in this, I will totally keep this going. If not, it's probably going to be one of those I put off to the side and not really worry about. But I would love to do this. I love trucks. Um, and I'm going the wrong way. Oh, well, I can go this way too. Um, throw a comment down below. Do you like it? Is there anything else you'd like to see me try to do? I'm going to do some grass work here soon. I've got to figure out how I'm going to get a mower and do all that. But I'm going to do it. Don't worry. I will do it. And we, uh, if you would, share. Share with all your friends. Share with anybody you think that enjoys trucks or farm sim, or for any reason that you see that you think someone would enjoy this, feel free to share. Um, so, until next time, everybody. Hold on, let me get out of here. <laughs> so, until next time, everybody. This is Driver53, signing off.